Hey, it's Sammy, and I am going to be showing some Comet Clear stuff. So this just came in the mail. Cover up addresses came. Actually, you guys, you can't see that at all. Came came from Comet Clear. <laughs> Um, so this is supposed to be their new model of their Comic Clear board, and I'm going to compare it towards their old one, which we use um, quite frequently. And all right, I'm going to open it up. I'm excited to see what they possibly could have done that is making um, an improvement. All right. So, Comet Clear. <laughs> the difference is clear. I love that. So cute. All right. Open, open. All right. So here we go. I grabbed a couple books that I wanted to put in here too. So, um, I grabbed some books from the PC to try out. Super amazing handwriting. All right, hey guys, that's clever because the leather. I see what you did there. Whether you intended it or not, so the leather. So yeah. Anyways, hey guys, I hope this package finds you well. I've enclosed a couple samples for our new archival comic bags. Um, which we hope to have in stock by October. These bags are made from, oh, it's the bags, not the boards. I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep reading. These bags are made from biaxially oriented polypropylene. I, pro I probably jacked that up just now, which is a fancy way of saying they've been manufactured using a special process that makes them incredibly clear. Oh my gosh, my puppy is flying by. Eliana, come here. All right, um, incredibly clear, glossy, and durable. The plastic itself is acid free and 100% archival. My goal is to offer these. So the community has an option that looks and feels like Mylar, but at one-fourth the cost. I still, I'm still finalizing my pricing, but, I, but a pack of 100 bags will be somewhere in the neighborhood of $15 free shipping. Will bulk orders of five plus package somewhere around $12 a pack shipped. Hope you like them. I'll send a full pack your way once I have them in stock. Steven. Okay, cool. Because when this came in, I was thinking it was the boards. So I was thinking like, wow, what could they actually have done differently to these boards to improve them? Because I already like them a lot. They already look amazing. Um, so this is their current board. Of course, it has the film on it, so it doesn't look all opaque and stuff. Um, let me show you what the boards currently look like. So basically what you do, and I'll show you their board, is take a little piece of tape. And you peel it in the corner. I'll finish doing that once I actually do one in the bag. Um, all right, my puppy needs watering. All right. So, anyways, it's the bag. So that's super cool. Actually, so there's some huge bag storage going on right now. Um. All right, let's let's feel it. Let's check out the bag. Of course, it has like their board in it. Let's put, I pulled out Tony's Silver Surfer for my saga. Um, or no, my Silver Surfer for Tony's TMNT for. Let's 
All right, I'm not gonna put this one in there. All right, let's put Tony's Tammy T4 in here. See what we think. All right. So I already love the bags. Um, if you haven't heard me talking about them before, they're super protective. They're made out of archival um, plastic, like they use in the Library of Congress. So it's like super protective of your comic. Um, not gonna lie, I've dropped my comics before, and they usually land on the corner. I'm just saying. Um, so. Like, I know it's hard to see, but I guess if you, like, go like that, you can see, like, the corner. It's, like, so clear, right? Like, the only issue with the board is that, like, you can't, like, show where the edge is very well. Um, let me shut the back of my hand, I guess. So you can see, like, that the board goes outside of, like, if you were to drop this on the ground, if you're clumsy like me, if you were to drop this on the ground, you're not going to, like, actually hit the edge. And then... Also, like shipping books that get graded or shipping books in general that are um, of higher value, um, feels more secure. And then you've got a lot of room on the edges, like where I'm like literally pushing on that. Like I'm like pushing on this with a bench, <laughs> with some force. Um, and so I already love the, the boards and I like the bag. I mean, it's very durable, it's thick, um, I don't have any complaints about it. Yeah, I don't have any complaints with it. I'm very picky when it comes to boards, like bags and boards. Um, cause if I'm going to buy them, I want to love them. Cause like. That's like bags and boards are like the only place in our household where we actually use plastic a lot. Like the drinks that I buy, like I get them in like glass bottles and stuff like that. Um, like recycled cups and like we definitely try to like go the extra mile where we can to like not use plastic. So when we buy bags and boards, I have to be in love with them to buy to spend money on plastic like I'm not even gonna lie um, so I will not buy bags and boards if I don't like how they're they feel how they look and that's just me because and it's not about like being like bougie or fancy or picky it's just I try not to buy plastic and I try to avoid plastic but with comics you can't really avoid that um, so I have to like really love something. Anyways, rant, 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 rant. I have to love something. Um, I have to love the bag and board to, to use, um, materials, even paper. All right. So, I mean, I'm trying, like, I'm just looking at it because I'm trying to find something wrong with it. <laughs> like, let, like to give an honest review, right? You have to like look by the flaw or at least I try to. Um, I mean, it's cozy. Uh, it's kind of like clothing. I know I'm speaking as a, a lady here, but it's like clothes. Like you want the you want the bag to fit comfortably and be flattering not like baggy but not like super like uncomfortably tight where you can't get like the book like in and out very easy because that's like super scary honestly like trying to get a, a comic in a bag that's supposed to be for its age like getting a modern book in some modern bags is like seriously is this like really <laughs> I shouldn't have to like push the comic to anyways to try to like get it in there so I like that it is not 
like so tight that I feel like worried about taking it back out. Um, I've cut comic side effects before, uh, a lot of times actually. Um, I don't definitely don't have to do that, but I also feel like this um, bag is complimenting, like it's form fitting. So, no, it's not like I'm talking about clothing, but um. It doesn't like it looks attractive like it looks nice it doesn't look like it's so loose because then sometimes like I'll show you too <sighs> I bought these golden age bags and I do not like them like at all is um if you sit beside me like rating or doing anything with comics and I don't like something I call it trash like this looks like trash so I'm just gonna actually just slip this in here. I have these golden age bags and I don't love them. They're thin, they get ratty super easy. Let me show you the difference. It's like wearing a trash bag, honestly. I don't even remember where we got, we got these so long ago. I don't use, unfortunately, cause I love golden age books. Unfortunately I don't get to use golden age bags like I want to. Um, there is a brand, I don't remember who they are, it's probably good anyways. We got these forever ago. They make comic bags and they're like trash bags. And I don't mean it like in a good way. Like they're loose, they're baggy. When you get the book in there, you barely touch it and the bag has like indentations on it. It looks ratty, it's thin, it's flimsy, it's just like, like if I'm gonna spend money on plastic, it's not gonna be this. Like when these came in, I just don't like them. And as soon as like your nail or anything brushes up against it, it has like punctures like all over the bag. Like look at that, you know? It like, you can literally, like this bag has never been used before. And like we keep our bags and boards like stashed and like nice with our supplies and stuff. So it's not like this has been manhandled. It hasn't even been used. This is like a trash bag and like, well, just like a trash bag. It's it's baggy, it looks cheap, and it like gets wrinkled and creased and dented easy. I don't like it. So, that's an example of a bag. I don't like it. So, I do like this because, what, I like the material. Like, it's not like getting... Tony's totally going to watch this. You know you trust the bag when you can like scratch at it and feel like your comic's not going to get damaged. Um, smell good. I mean it's real I mean it's like a real test right because like you're sliding your comics in and out in and out oh like admiring them reading putting them in your box taking them out blah 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 they're brushing up against comics constantly brushing up against the corners constantly they're traveling they're going around your house I mean it's fair to say like if I can rub scissors on it then I mean, I like it. I'm so picky. All right, so I like it. I like the bag. It's tough, it's durable, and it's strong. Like it's it's definitely not flimsy, like at all. Let me take this back out, actually. The tape is now one with the bag. All right, let's put that over there. So, I like it. It's not flimsy. It, it doesn't feel cheap. Okay. Well, now I'm just getting my fingerprints all over the place, but that's okay. The point of this is the bag. Um, 
no it keeps it holds shape nicely and I feel like it is a good alternative to mylar I actually it's like a, a lighter version of mylar I actually don't love mylar bags actually I don't like them like at all um, like full-on mylar I don't care for them personal preference I think they are great quality bags I do like I am I'm not saying I dislike them in a way like I feel like they're made poorly or anything like that I think they're made very well I just don't like how thick they are I'm like the complete opposite of everybody else um, I don't like how thick they are I do like this like this is a lighter weight version of that um, I know a lot of people who love and swear by mylar like I said I do think they are a really good material um, I they're just not for me I think they're well made they're just not for me but I do like that this is light and hold shape I like that it can take some scratches it can be roughed up a little bit and it still look nice it obviously can handle fingerprints which is another thing um, I always I handle comics a lot with gloves on because um, I use a lot of moisturizers like like makeup hand moisturizers hair stuff whatever um, I always have something on my hands so I, I tend to wear gloves a lot and I don't have gloves on right now obviously um, and this can definitely handle fingerprints because I'm not seeing it can use the ring light kind of like show reflection so I'm impressed I like it um I'm excited that I was about the bag because like at first I thought it was like oh he's sending me different boards like I wonder what they could have possibly done to make them better or different because I already love the board so I pulled these out to show in comparison but I'm just going to show you guys because like obviously there's no comparison because I look um the the boards are the same it's just the bag that's different so show you guys these to show off some books that we have um, that are already in the boards of course this one this one has to be in a clear board I mean come on look at that tell me in the comments what side you would display because I think that's the hardest decision on this book or if you just like constantly erasing it. Um, this one, I mean Conan the Barbarian, more of a protective thing, like I'm not like looking at the back of this one, of course, um, more of like a protective, and ASM 194, same thing, more of a protective layer on that, but I like it, I like it a lot. I'm excited for them to roll out so it seems like they are in the works of making these new bags and I really hope that it uh it goes through because I like them a lot I think they are a very good um, lightweight durable bag so awesome thanks for watching I hope you have a good day and um yeah, thanks for hanging out. See ya.